What's going on guys, man, with Carolina Coops, and today I have something awesome to show you guys. We have now invented a predator-proof, fully functional chicken coop window. And the best part is, it's pre-hung and comes to you fully assembled. Now, what do I mean by pre-hung? What it means is, you have a window, okay? We have two different sizes, we have this one, and that one right there is leaning on its end, but I'll show you that one, that's more like a transom window. All you have to do is take your window, go to the chicken coop that you're building, Go into your rough opening, put it in just like that, and nail in the window by nailing in the trim to the wall of your shed. Now, let me show you a couple more things about these windows that make it amazing. So when I say fully functional, they're just like the windows that are on our Carolina Coops. You have a gate latch down here. You can open it up. You've got half-inch hardware cloth, the PVC black-coated hardware cloth behind the window that makes it completely predator-proof. And if you turn it around, one of the best parts is when you get your window, it's not going to be painted, but you're probably going to want to paint or do some type of finishing. You can actually remove the screen by just removing all these screws that will allow the, wind, the, the screen to come off by removing the screen window trim. All right. Then that way that's not on. And then the other thing you can do is you have this material right here. That's the polycarbonate that we absolutely love. It's 400 times stronger than glass. You can remove the polycarbonate just by removing the same exact screws here and then remove your hardware that just requires a number two Phillips head and you actually can have it very easy to paint your window. And actually take a step further, number two Phillips head to also undo the screws up here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shoot this in and show you actually how easy it is. So first things first, for you chicken police people, I'm gonna get my safety glasses on. We're gonna hook up some air. Now, most likely, we will include finishing nails, trim nails with the window kit in case you don't happen to have a pneumatic nail gun like we're about to use or a battery powered nail gun. Uh, but if you do, you know, just use your nail gun. You can use 16 gauge, 15 gauge. You know, again, it's just about nailing the window on. So we got our gun ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take this window, pop it in right into the rough opening. Grab the nail gun, make sure you're happy with it, okay? And it's really this simple. Now I use a bump trigger, That's what I like. And I would say, I don't know, <laughs> you just do it. Uh, just make sure you don't have enough nail so the window doesn't fall out. Maybe something just like that. Let's do it actually one more time. So now here's another size window. This is our transom window that we use a lot on our Carolina Coops. Again, just boom, right in just like that. Take your nail gun. Or again, you can nail it by hand. Just like that, your window is installed. Now, why would you want a pre-hung window? Well, I know what it's like to design chicken coops. I know what it's like to build coops. One of the hardest parts about building a coop is making sure one, it looks good, and also make sure it's perfectly functional. What we have done here is we've made windows that look awesome and are 100% functional. So again, you have your gate latch right here. You can open and close your window, all right? Same thing with this window right here. And then what I mean by functional, is we have our dowel holes right there. We just put our dowels in there. And then that will keep your window open so it allows for ventilation. We have three different adjustments. We can open it up even more. And the nice thing about this is we have ventilation, but because we have the polycarbonate, even on those days you're getting some massive sideways rain, that will help protect from rain getting inside the uh, hen house. And if you want to close it up, because again, it's very important. It's not the cold that kills chickens, it's the wind chill. You close up your window, you block the wind chill. The other thing is we have it where you got that trim that I showed you earlier, that's holding the screen on. That's also acting as a stop for the window so it closes off that gap so air cannot get through there. Same thing on this one. It's just a smaller window, different size. You got these beautiful muttons right there, half inch hardware cloth. We even added this beautiful detail here. It's just a windowsill. We have a little bevel cut right there, and that's just to help shed water. It just makes it give that nice 
look where it's very dimensional. Pop our dowels in and that will hold your window open. And the other thing I forgot to mention, if you get one of these windows on the gate latch, these two screws on this side will need to be screwed in. And that's because it's gonna go into the wall of your chicken coop. So these two screws will not be fully screwed in because it'll poke through your trim. But when you shoot your window in, then come in with that number two Phillips head and just put your screws in just like that. They go into your chicken coop wall and you're done. It is literally that simple. Let's do it again down here. Done. It doesn't get any easier than that. Again, I cannot emphasize enough that by it being pre-hung, we have done all the hard work for you. Just make sure you rough out your chicken coop wall so that the window can go right in there. We got the polycarbonate, we got the gate latches, so it makes it real easy to open and close. You can open and close it by setting the dowel so you have ventilation. But if we come back around here, if you ever need to remove the screen, especially when you're gonna go paint it, you just remove all these screws right here and that'll allow the screen to come off, to make it real easy to paint. These windows are made with two different species of wood. You can see the pink hue on all the framing. That's that Douglas fir lumber that we love to use. It's very strong and it's very stable. And because of the pocket hole joinery, it allows those screws to bite into that grain and everything is glued. Now, as far as the trim, that is just a white pine. It's very simple pine and you can stain it, you can paint it, you can do nothing. I don't know, that's completely up to you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and leave them down below. Thanks for watching.